here. Welcome back. Um, today's lesson is 6.1c. So um, the handout is linked in the description below. Uh, the YouTube videos are available. It says use handout 6.1a and b for problems one through six. If you get the handout and you look down, you can see that after number six, there is an example that says all real numbers. I've worked one out up here. I'll come back to it. Um, I want to do number eight, and then I will talk about um, exactly what's happening, what we're seeing today. So when we work out number eight, knowing that we're solving equations, we know that we must identify the constants, which are just regular numbers versus variables, which are letters. And we know that we must kind of make them match. So squares are going over with squares. Circles will go to the opposite side with circles. So I'm going to start here, plus 2p and plus 2p. So ultimately, this cancels out. So this tells me negative 2. And this is 0 is equal to drop negative 9. But also, negative 2 plus 2 is also 0. So now, when you get an answer like this where negative 2 is equal to negative 9, well, we know that that's not true. Negative 9 is only equal to negative 9, and negative 2 is only equal to negative 2. So this is a false, that's a false answer, which means no solution. Okay, now going back, you will see in the worked out example, there's also whenever they get to um, the answer where they have 7 equals 7, well, that is a true statement. So the answer is all real numbers. Um, in some textbooks, you will see all real numbers written as this funky script R where it has that extra line in there to make the R or um, also infinite, infinite solutions. Okay, now you can see in the uh, one through six, there's one single answer. So there can be one answer, no answer, or all real numbers, all answers. 